Well, hello there, peoples. Instagram. Instagram, 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 that's all we hear nowadays. But how can you use Instagram to build a following, to educate people, to get them to take action? So in this little video, I'm going to give you three little tips, little sneaky things you can do on the Instagram to do exactly that. And if you're watching this on Instagram, remember to click the follow button. If you're watching this on Facebook, click like and make sure you click on the notifications to see first. And if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit the little bell button to make sure that you get notified as these videos go live. So Instagram, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a little Instagram page that I set up. Uh, actually exactly one month ago it was about the 28th of April I set this page up um, and it's not to do with dentistry it's nothing to do with marketing it's to do with um, healthy living and uh, eating good quality food specifically vegan food um, that's not the reason I'm showing you it. I want to show you what I'm doing from the marketing side of things so I want to show you three little tips that you can use to build your Instagram uh, following and to get people um, to take action and to visit your website and to do more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is my little um, Instagram page and you will, you will probably know that the best way to interact with Instagram is if you uh, use it on your phone. Far easier to do on your phone than it is to do um, on a computer. But the, for the purposes of this, the computer screen actually works really well. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this page here and you can see if I highlight, I haven't got that many followers, 213, but that's okay. I'm quite happy with that um, after the first month, but some little tips. So some little tips. One of those tips is to always, always, always use hashtags. So hashtags are these little babies, these little babies here that go after your content. So put your content in um, and then use hashtags. Use hashtags that other people are using that you want to be found for. So my little tip, my sneaky little tip is to look for other people that are successful in your niche. So whether that be vegan food, whether that be dental marketing, whether that be dentistry, look for um, people that are successful, people that have got lots of followers, look at the hashtags they are using, then create a little text file and put those hashtags into the text file. Let the text file grow and grow and grow more and more hashtags. Then every post you use, use those hashtags. And I'll show you the reason why this works really well. The reason why it works well is because you can search for hashtags on Instagram. So you can see this is one of the hashtags I use, vegetarian recipes, and you can see it's had 848,000 posts. Let's go for another one. Let's go for vegan food. You can see we've had 15 million posts. Now on Instagram, you can follow a hashtag. What that means in reality is that various followers can follow not only you as a person, but follow the hashtags you are talking about if you don't use the hashtags, you miss out on a whole load of people that will see your post. I use these vegan hashtags and within seconds, oh yes, I mean seconds, I'll have 30 or 40 likes of a particular post. So that's without having the followers, that's just getting the likes of that post. Here is the proof. Let me go back to my, um, let me go back to my uh, page here. And have a look here. So we've got 176 likes of this one. 52, 140, 49, 63. Didn't use hashtags in that one. Uh, that was because it wasn't about vegan food. That was a restaurant I visited. 63 and so on, so on. 21, 113, 63, 74, 68, 73. You can get a lot of likes through very relatively very few followers by using hashtags. That's tip number one. So, 
tip number two. Tip number two is to update your story. When you, so you've got two types of posts on Instagram. You can have your uh, regular daily posts of the images that I've just shown you with a little, um, little bit of text and your hashtags. And you can have stories. Stories are little snippets of video which you can put daily and you can highlight. So if you update your story, um, and you think you've done a particularly good one, you can highlight it. So if you go to that, that uh, your, your profile page on the phone, you will see where you can highlight the story. When you highlight a story, you can name that particular highlight. You can group highlights together, give them a little name, and you can even update, uh, upload a little logo. So here is what I have done. I have created stories, some around motivation to be vegan, some around food ideas, some around store cupboard essentials. So if I click on this essentials, oh, I've got to log in to see the story. But you want, when you log in, you will see that story. Same with food ideas, you've got to log in to see the story and same with motivation. So what we can do is we can group stories together. So when you do your um, posts, your regular posts, use the hashtag, use uh, nice images. And when you do a story, make sure your story is around a particular theme. So if you're in dentistry, you might want to do a very short 15 second video about replacing missing teeth, one of the options, perhaps impl implants, then do another one the next day about bridges, another one the next day about dentures. Same with straightening crooked teeth, you might do a little story, 15 second blast about Invisalign, next one about Ingman Aligner, next one about um, conventional orthodontics and so on and so on. Then group those stories together in highlights and create little uh, story highlights as I've done here and create them and upload little logos to them. And it can be a really good way of people finding quality content that they're looking for on your Instagram page. And the final thing to do, um, if you look here, is to have your website. So you must put your website in there. Make sure you have a business Instagram account. Uh, that's very easy to do. Go to the settings, make sure you switch it to business. It will then link it through to a Facebook page. And make sure you have a link. Um, the link to your website is really important because unless you pay for links on Instagram, this is the only place you can get a link in. So get your website in there at the moment. I don't have a website for this particular project. Um, I just use my Facebook page, but get your website in. So there are your three top tips for Instagram. Use hashtags, lots of them, store them in a text file, put them in every post. Uh, group together your stories, do them as highlights, upload little logos for each highlight and think about how you're gonna group your highlights together and get your uh, web page uh, link into your bio. Please do let me know what you think. If you're already on Instagram, make sure you follow. If you're on Facebook, make sure you follow and click notifications to select, select see first so you get updated. And if you're on YouTube, click subscribe and hit the little bell button. See you soon.